Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. Looking back over everything you've done and all the success you've had, like what's one thing that you wish you knew sooner in your career? Huh. Um, cash flow, better cash flow management. I mean, this is that is not a sexy thing, but I'll tell you. I think it's very sexy. When, um, <laughs> right? I mean, because all like good marketing abilities the ability to, to acquire customers, um, the ability to generate a lot of sales, even develop products. I'm pretty good at product development and product creation and the identification of opportunity. Uh, none of those will matter if you run out of cash. Yeah. And two times in my life, uh, because of poor cash management, you know, I told you about one, I've got a quarter million dollars in debt. No. Just not paying attention believing that it would turn around, mm. not having any really budgeting in mind. You know, how much, what is an appropriate amount for this business to spend on acquisition, <laughs> right. right? Having this appropriate budgeting, well, how much should I all maintain at all times in an emergency fund? Uh, setting aside money for taxes, like all of these things. Setting aside money for legal. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. cost me um, probably a good two years of growth. Mm. And the way that I got out of that because I thought when you know, I got a quarter million dollars in debt, I, thought I, was, I seriously thought I was going to have to file bankruptcy. And thankfully, I, I didn't. I was able to, I was able to dig Man, myself out of the hole. That's a deep hole for sure. Well, the way that I got out of it, though, is I didn't pay taxes. Because, mm. again, I didn't know. <laughs> right? They don't teach you this stuff. It's not like you're going to go and be an entrepreneur and start your own business and then go, well, totally. here's how you do basic finance right. and accounting. Here's how taxes yeah. work. Yeah. I thought if you didn't have any money left over, you didn't have any taxes <laughs> to pay. Apparently, that's, that's not, not how, how it works. works. Oh, wow. Right. And so, you know, I, I, I was... A, <laughs> The year before, I was a quarter million dollars in debt, and then I, I think I'm, I think I'm free. I think I'm out, and then I get a quarter million dollar bill from the IRS. Mm. Right? Again, I was able to get out of it. Thankfully, right. my business was in a more stable part. I, you know, it was a lean year. Kids yeah. didn't get necessarily the biggest Christmas presents right. that year and stuff, but I was able to get it paid off. You know, almost almost immediately. Which circles right back to cash flow management. But exactly, yeah. and and that those whole experiences. I mean, I, I lost years and years and years because I ran out of fuel and it didn't have to happen. Mm. And so I think taking you know, basic accounting classes, um, even just simple books, like there's a book, Profits First. Yep. Profits First, it's a really great, simple book that I think all entrepreneurs should read. Basic cash flow management, basic budgeting. Uh, those of us who are more kind of sales and marketing minded believe that, oh, as long as there's enough gross, there'll always be enough net <laughs> laying right. around there somewhere. Man, that ain't the case. And yeah. if I could go back and tell my younger self, it would be, you know, always pay yourself the 10%, mm -hmm. you know, pay yourself a salary. Like I never paid myself a salary, mm. right? If there was money, I took it. If mm -hmm. there wasn't, I didn't. Mm -hmm. It was just so, just basic business practices. Setting it up the right way. Just setting it up the right way. Yeah. I think if I could go back and do it again, I think that, I think that would have saved me a lot of heartache, Love a lot it. of heartburn. Totally agree. It's critical. And, and most people, like you said, it's not taught. It's not talked about. It's yeah. so easily overlooked and such a punch in the face when you get those letters from yeah. the IRS and the different things. Like, it's crazy. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.